Hi there Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 1st through the 15th love reading. I want to thank you for all the subscribers, comments, likes, shares, and bookings. I've been busy so thank you very much. I tend to give um, whoever gives me the most loves in the comments, you know, gives me the comments, likes, whatever, tends to get the the readings towards the top of the list in the next segment. It's just the way it is. Um, Dear God, spirits, angels, and universe, what do you have for Capricorn for love for August 1st through the 15th? What do they need to know? Starting August 1st, my private readings are going to go up to 40 rather than 35. But if you want to book a reading, you have until July 31st at midnight um, to request it at 35. Save 5 bucks now if you book it now. Otherwise, it's going up to 40 on the 1st just because the demand is so big. Um... What do you have for Capricorn? Your intuition is right on. All right, that's for darn sure. Looks like your inner knowing is right up there and you know exactly what's going on at this time. Um, we have the Ten of Cups here. It looks like happiness is here. Any difficulties that you were going through may have subsided and you may be feeling really good. Oops, not doing reverse. This is three. I do do reverse, but not going to do it for these readings. This is three of wands, okay? This is about something finally coming to fruition that you've been waiting on. Looks like you have been preparing for something, and it might lead. It might be you've been preparing for something that leads to happily ever after, and maybe you've even been manifesting it with this high priestess in your psychic abilities. Um, the manifesting you have been manifesting. That's for darn sure. Perhaps finally something is over. Something is finally over. Something happened in the middle of the night that was pretty sneaky. And, and now it's over. And not the only thing you can do is build yourself up from there. Um, you can't pick up the broken pieces. They were already broken. It's just time to start over. Okay? It's time to start over. And, and um, bring back your power. Become whole again. Um, it's about taking back your power. All right? Using your resources to become whole again, complete. All right. This is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. I've had it for a long time. It actually is the first um, different deck I bought. I had the Rider Waite for years and years and years. But then when I decided to go professionally, I decided I need to expand my decks. And this was the very first one that called out my name, so I've had it for a while, and I've decided to go back to it now. It's time to spread your wings, that's for darn sure, okay? Um, it looks like there's a chance for a reconciliation or a commitment. You know, and it's something that you have been manifesting. There's no doubt about it. You've been manifesting this happily ever after. It's coming. It absolutely is. It's something that you have been working on, and it's finally starting to come to fruition. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um... It's a very uh, sexual energy. This. We're just going to get the cards out. I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut for a minute. All right. So it looks like. Um, 
you've been working really hard. You have been working really, really hard at um, healing yourself and manifesting and becoming positive and becoming more spiritual and listening to your intuition. It looks like you have really been working very, very hard. Um, and I see that you just don't want to fight anymore. Perhaps you want to let your guard down, you know, but you can't. I mean, you've won a lot of battles. You know, look at, here you are sleeping with one eye open. You're just not sure if you can close your eyes. You still don't trust. Even though you've won a lot of battles and people have proven themselves to you, you still can't trust. Okay? So this just tells me that, um... You know, you've been working hard. The universe sees it. You've accomplished a lot. But, you know, and the world can see that what you can accomplish. You are do not quit until you have reached your goal. So that is fantastic. Um, the universe can see how hard you've been working. You're going to have an epiphany, all right? You're going to have awakening. You're going to have a breakthrough that might come to you in the middle of the night. Okay, you might have a breakthrough that might come to you in the middle of the night, you know, when you're sleeping through a dream or through your subconscious to your conscious that is going to, um, you're going to, you're going to have some kind of dream that's going to come to you in the middle of the night, okay? There is going to be a dream. And perhaps it's going to lead you towards, um, healing for sure absolutely because we have that you um are gaining strength okay we have all these eights eights are about strength it's the it's the strength card that's that's an eight as well you are gaining all this strength you are becoming more healthy you are starting to believe in yourself you are uh surrendering to the losses that you've had you're ready to open up um You've had a lot of patience. Your confidence has come back. It looks like you're feeling a lot better. Um, people are drawing towards you because your your vibration has risen. All right. Um, you're not trapped. You're not trapped. And this is saying that it's time to take your power back. And anything that's trapping you, you need to you need to walk away from. You just you're ready to open up. You are absolutely a hundred percent ready. There really is nothing holding you back. When you're ready to open up your wings, all you need to do is open them up and fly away. Okay, that's how ready you are. You have mastered your emotions in many, many ways. You are ready to fly, okay? Um, this is intended to be a love reading. Um... There could be somebody from the other side that's trying to communicate with you who is, who is coming through and is guiding you on this journey. Okay? They're the ones that are that are connecting your subconscious with your conscious and giving you the messages. Um, just so you know, your overall happiness is in reach. It absolutely is in reach. And you've been manifesting it. The only problem is is that I don't think you're ever going to trust. I don't think that you are ever, ever going to trust. You know, in the past you've been hurt and that's why you're not spreading your wings. But this card says it's time for you to spread your wings. You have all the resources that you need within you to become whole and spread your wings and let go of the past and trust. Okay? You've worked really hard. You've reached your goal, okay? You have. You have reached your goal. That, that's your awakening. That's your epiphany. When you finally realize all that you have accomplished and you're grateful for what you've accomplished, that's when um, this commitment or this contentment, you start to feel really content with yourself, all right? Um, and, and whatever you've been manifesting starts to come to fruition. You've been ma manifesting happiness. And you've been doing it with your own psychic abilities. Let's get...
get some clarification. What else do they need to know? What else can we tell them regarding love? Now, this didn't seem very lovely, did it? Are you just... I think you're still healing from something. And that's what it looks like to me. Your time It's time to spread your wings because I don't see a whole lot of new love here or um, even, you know, maybe it doesn't say that you're not in a relationship. I think your healing that you're doing is definitely pertains to love because the more that you heal, the more love can come in. There's a lot of angelic guidance here, okay? There is. Okay, this is angelic guidance. It's also about um, preparation and foresight and your ship's finally coming in. I think we already talked about this. You have been manifesting it, and that's absolutely 100% positive. You have been manifesting this. You've been healing yourself. You have surrendered. You've surrendered to whatever has happened and you are just letting it go. It happened. You've acknowledged it and you're, you're about ready to move on. Really open your wings. I mean, you just have to open your wings. You have that twice. Open your wings. You're ready. There's no reason to hang around any longer in whatever despair you've been hanging into. You know, any darkness that you've been hanging on to, you just let it go. All right. Um, take back control of your life. Take the lead position. Don't let anybody else steal. <coughs> steal your power, okay? Because that's what this is. Somebody has stolen your power, and it's time for you to take it back. <coughs> You're going to have an awakening, all right? Where's the love? Where's the love? I want to see some love for these Capricorns. Damn it all. They're saying not right now. Heartbreak, sorrow, loss, rejection, regrets. You know, there's been a lot of pain. Whoever stole your power, it was very painful. Your, prayers, your uh, prayers have been answered, just so you know. We have three, three, three. Your prayers have been answered. They've heard them. Your angels have heard your prayers, and they're, they're answering them. All right? They are right now. Um, and they're going to bring you a message of love. Your love is coming your way. It is very beautifully, I might add, it is coming your way. And security and happiness and rainbows and butterflies... I mean, a very comfortable home life. You have manifested this. You have. Beautiful. At ease. Abundance. That you have worked hard for. Okay? I want to see some love. Where's the love? I think you're focusing... I guess, for this 1st to the 15th of August, you're, you're focusing on healing... Okay, and you're focusing on building yourself back up, taking back your power. Something has been lost, you know, and your heart has been damaged. And now it's about taking your power back and putting yourself in, in the lead position and really spreading your wings. It's time to spread my wings, okay, because you're not going to settle. You're not going to settle. What else do you have for Capricorn? <coughs> Might as well make sure you can see all these real good. Look at that heartbreak right there in the middle. That's, that's sorrow. That's a painful situation that is now over. Thank God. But it's still tormenting you. All right, it is, but you're healing it very, very well. You're working on healing 100% right now during this time in your life. You have been working on it, and I think that you have manifested some new um, comforts, okay? And I think that love is headed in your direction. There's no doubt about it. New love. Could be with somebody you're already with, but the fact of the matter is you still don't trust them. You're never going to trust. I don't. I mean, you might, but I don't know. 
doesn't look good. You're skeptical, put it that way. In the past, you've been hurt very badly, and you are afraid to spread your wings because you just don't know what could happen. And you like to be in control. You know, it's better if you don't spread your wings. If you just stay locked up, then you're in control. If you spread your wings, then you let go of some of that control. And that's a little bit scary for you right now, August 1st through the 15th. Yeah, you're not seeing love. You are not seeing love, okay? You're just missing it. Right now, If there's the focus isn't on love. It's focus on you right now. It's focus on healing yourself because you don't want to settle. And because you don't want to settle, you have to work on yourself. And you know that, okay? Open your eyes to the possibilities. You know, you when you, you can spread your wings, you can trust. You can all right don't be so scared the worst is over any troubles that you had with whoever it was that had that just about killed you it's over with okay rock bottom has hit and it's over the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and expect things to get better now that's manifestation that's what you've been doing and that's what you're gonna continue to do you're gonna think positive the, the worst is over remember that the worst is over. It is beautiful. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. You're going to have a very happy, content family home life. The Emperor again. This is an Aries, by the way. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. I don't know. This person is saying that you need to take back control. This could be somebody who stole your power. This is an Aries. They are powerful. They like their power, and they will take your power if you let them. Okay, so this is saying for you, either they are the ones that took your power, and now it's time for you to, you know, take it back. Or this is saying, they're just saying that you need to act like them. Take your power back. That's very prominent. You have it several times. Take back your power. It's yours. Nobody can have it. It's yours. We're going to still look for some love with these angel romance cards. Can't guarantee anything at this point because I can see that you guys have some work to do still. You are so, so close. You have reached some set, many goals along this, this path to healing. And I think the very last one that you need to learn is trust. You still don't trust. You're sleeping with one eye open. What the hell could happen next? You've healed in many, many ways, but you're not quite ready to spread your wings to let that true love um, rule because you don't trust. we have any romance for Capricorn the 1st through the 15th? Either way, you have major completions here with these 10s, okay? 10, 10, 10. Major completion. New journeys are on the horizon for you. Big ones, okay? New beginnings. A beginning of a comfortable home life. A beginning of happily ever after. A, be a clarity. A, the beginning of a beautiful, wonderful new situation. The difficult, is, the difficult situation is over. You can't go anywhere. It's from up, but up from here. You can't. The difficulties are over. You are moving up. They are. Difficulties are over. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Now you just need to open up your wings. Seriously. Fly. That one came flying out when I said that. Oh, son of a bitch. Isn't this a good one? Somebody has taken your power. Forgive your parents. They didn't know. Whatever they did in the past, they didn't... I mean... Maybe they did know. You know, everybody has faults. Faults. F-A-U-L-T-S. Faults. Apparently I can't say that very good. Anyhow, everybody has them. Okay? Nobody is perfect. And this is what you need to heal. This will help you to spread your wings.
It will make your home life a lot more comfortable because it will be a relief. It will be a big old, re a big old relief. It's going to finally be a breakthrough once you do that. Once you heal your family issues, a breakthrough will come through and your life is going to change. Maybe that's when, you know, when you heal, you can trust. I mean, that's, hopefully you can. Uh, you know, I think that your trust issues are, are going to go on for a little bit longer, but I think you're definitely working on it. Huh. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Whoever is trying to control you. You may not be with this person anymore. This could be that you are finally taking back your power. That's what this separation is. You know what? You had my power. I've taken it back. There's the separation. One more. Mm, this is a this is it. This is what you're working on right now. That's why love isn't so prominent. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. They are. You are focusing on healing and you're focusing on your career. You're focusing on building your foundation. Okay, before you can let this love come in. I mean, there's been some... Uh, you are focusing on taking your power back. You know, in the, the career spectrum, you want to be the leader. You want to be the leader. And that's what you are shooting for. And that is what you are focusing on. Last card. I promise. It was on the bottom of the deck and I just happened to flip it over. Big, big message for you big message. This is part of opening your wings, okay? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. You know, part of, for you Capricorn, part of the thing, you can't give away your power. It, it, it just about kills you to give away your power. And it does bring your self-respect down. The first step is to take back your power. Okay, you take back your power. Acknowledge it, whatever it was. Okay, forgive it. You have to. You have to forgive it. Okay, let it go. Love yourself. Realize that it that there's there, it was meant to be. It was destiny, whatever it was. There's nothing you can do and start loving yourself again. Okay, you have to love yourself again. So, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I don't feel the need to pull any more cards. The biggest message I see here is that you you are still working on yourself. It's time for you to take back your power. I see that you're working on your foundation, take your financial foundation. And we have a lot of new beginnings here, okay? Um, the biggest problem I see is that you don't trust and, and getting you to trust is going to be very, very hard. Very, very, very hard. So that's probably going to be your biggest obstacle. And because you're so worried, you might be burying yourself in your finances, in your career, in your career, you know what I mean? And um, focusing on your career goals in order to protect your heart. So... That is my message for you, Capricorn. I thank you so very much for watching my videos, liking, subscribing, and booking, and all that jazz. I really appreciate it. I, um, yeah, I believe that is all that I have. Let's see if we can give you another little view here. Look at that. Sleeping with one eye open. Man, I got to protect myself because I don't know what is next. Never let my guard down. Just can't do it. But it is time to open your wings. Okay, it is time. You have a lot of angels here. New love wants to come in or love wants to come in. It wants to be a part of you if you want to if you are ready for it. Okay? It's time to take back your power in a lot of different ways. Okay?
it's time to fly. Missed opportunity in love. That's a love card, okay? There is a missed opportunity. There's a missed opportunity because you're focusing on other stuff right now. Love yourself first. Why don't you just try it? I think you have been. <laughs> you have been. That's why you're so close to opening your wings and flying away. Because you have been loving yourself. You are already taking back your power. Your power is coming back right now. Okay? You just have a couple more steps to go and you will have it fully back. So, this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I wish you the very best. That right there. What else can I say?